You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am doing the Plato's Da Vinci by Hasbro. And we've had a ton of requests to see this set or any set. Now, we added this just so we had the extra colors, maybe for a later date. Not sure, but let me get this out of the way because it's not the focus right now. We just wanted to show you, you can get extra dough. Now, usually... When I get something like this, I always buy the refills so that you have them later when you're done with the stuff that comes with the kit. So it's the Anywhere Art Studio easel and storage case. Let me just flip it around so we can quickly learn a little bit more. Um, so there's some storage here to store your supplies. And then design in 3D, five projects including two blank boards. Not sure all about it. Hardens overnight. So there's step one. Choose a deco pop. So they call those the deco pop. So our 12 pack is a 12 pack of deco pops and then pop it into the styler and an aim squeeze design hardens overnight easy cleanup so nothing gets heated at first i thought it was like a glue gun but i'm not sensing that at all because of course there's no cord so you don't have to heat it up which is nice so let me get it all out of the box next and of course now i'm going to have to check back in 24 hours so i'll do some of the video today and some of the video tomorrow but what you're seeing now is the complete video. So let me get it out. All right, so here is what's in the art studio. Now there's some items inside. I had to open it quickly just to get the string out of it. But I haven't actually taken a look at them. So I like to do that on camera, actually. So here's the Da Vinci purple, like a bright orange, yellow, and a what looks to be like a teal. And here's your Da Vinci gun. So I was kind of taking a look at it. Nicely styled. Now this goes in different directions so that I guess you know if you're trying to match it up to the bottom of the bottle you'll need to move this slightly you just put that in there it looks like and the handles purple pretty neat little looking tool let's get these out of the way now this opens yes I had to learn this actually there it goes that way and then this opens like this and then here's the stuff inside so like I said it's just been sitting I haven't touched it so it looks like we got these four, there was the four it said, one, two, three, and then the two blanks, okay? So it looks like you could decorate right on top or just create your own thing. And these are pretty nice. It's a heavy, you could just feel it's like a heavy cardboard stock, almost like something to find in a board game. And here's the instructions. I just want to see, is there a way to set this up? So maybe this uh, goes down, maybe? No. The picture. Here, here's the picture. Maybe it just goes like that. I think it does. Aha. Uh -huh. There's my design studio. Okay. I get it now. So this would probably go in here. Which it does. And then... These would go in here, any particular way, yes, like that. Looks like the bottle would fit in here. Okay, this is nice. You got a little, got a nice little storage area. Now you really have to push on those to get them in. They don't really show you the setup there. But I'm guessing that is the way. There's like a little notched area. Just slide in and it stays real tight so these will not come out. Alright. And it looks like this is where you do your work. That's what I'm guessing. And this would just be storage. Because these fit in here really nice. So now, let's take a look at the instructions. We got that set up. It says, choose a Deco Pop tube. Right, I'm going to go with this because this uh, seems to match my picture frame really nice. And then pop it into the styler. Okay, so my styler. So i got to take the lid off. Whoa, not drop it on the ground. And then it looks like the lid goes... This goes in like this. And this is going to push on it. Okay, so now we have some action there. And an aim, squeeze, design. Keep your project flat on a table or other surface. Move the styler slowly towards you. Hold the styler at an angle. Make sure the styler tip touches the surface. So, 
It needs to be at an angle, so it can't be straight up and down. And here's some troubleshooting tips in case we run into this. Uh, is it hard getting compound out of new deco pop tube? Squeeze a little harder and it'll get easier. Need to start over? Wipe it off before it dries and try again. Are your lines looking a little uneven? Move the styler slowly for best results. Compound won't stick. Press the tip against the surface, make a dot, and release the styler. Put the cap back on the tube when you're done designing to keep your color fresh for next time. To change deco pop tube, push tube backwards out of the styler and insert a new one. Remove excess compound, allow to dry, then scrape or vacuum deposits away. So here's some of the patterns. So many ways, so many ways to make lines. Okay. And then let your design dry and harden overnight. It says you could also do this on right here. On wood crafts, cardboard, paper, duct tape, and much more. Let's just give it a shot. First thing I'm going to do is make a dot. Remember it said not straight up and down on a little angle. So let me just press it out so we can kind of see me pressing here. All right. Okay, so I made a dot. And let me change my angle so we can get some another perspective right on it. I really do just want to touch it. So I am going to do that. Let's just see. Does it remind me of Play-Doh? Hmm. It kind of has a Play-Doh smell to it, yes. Watch as it comes out now. Here, I'll try to do a line. Remember I said go slow. So it does come out pretty easy. And I can just roll it back up if I don't like it. So it is... It really does feel like Play-Doh and it has a very similar smell so I'm guessing that's what it is. Now let me see how easy this is to clean up. Let me get a rag here. I'm just kind of messing around, literally messing around. I'm going to spray a little bit on a washcloth and see if I can just start over. Where? Not bad. Alright, so what would I do for a design? Well, I think I need some help here. I don't think I want to start with a blank slate. I think I want to start with that. Let's see. See this squiggly line here? Let's see if I can match this line. I broke. You almost have to be able to move quickly and change your angles. This one's heading towards my camera, which will definitely not work. Okay. Might be easier to have started in the center here. My hands are shaking because I'm putting the pressure on this. Okay. Not sure if that is what I'm supposed to do, but I'm kind of getting an idea here. Let me push this out now. It said push it out, remember? Okay, and then put the cap back on. And change colors. Let me go to a purple. I could be very well doing this all wrong, but... Now these punch out, so... There must be a reason, oh, and it looks like I have it upside down, um, Da Vinci down here, sorry. So it looks like I can punch out shapes. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to fill in there or what. Let me grab the box. You know, the box always seems to have more information. Hold on a second. All right, so looky here now. You punch out all the different little sections. I'm going to do that now. I still have my orange there. Now it looks like theirs punches out a lot more than this, but I'll show you in just a second. I'm punching out all the different little sections. I'll leave the corners in. Oh, I took two out. Might as well take these out. There's a really tiny punch out right here. Okay. There, now that matches that. 
All right, and then you see... Yes, they have, like, purple, but they're not being as precise as I was trying to be. It looks like you're really just trying to fill in and make poofy flowers. See that there? So now that I have my purple out, it looks like I can do three purples. Whoa, sorry about that. So now, it looks like they're just being a little less precise and just filling up an area here. Like that. Okay. And now some of the teal. Let me get the teal. So I'm just going to swap that out. distance there. Alright, now I have my next color. If you saw a little glitch in the video there, it's because my phone rang and I forgot to turn it off. And it was nobody I knew, so. I guess what I'm not understanding is it just stays puffy on the actual um, card base. So it's not something that you're going to necessarily create and pull off or just make a big lump like this one here. I'm just going to leave this lump here so when I let this sit overnight I'll just see. Maybe you can make other stuff that doesn't stick to something or that you can peel off. Alright, so they have green going down this whole branch and like a squiggly pattern. All right, that's pretty good. I need to get the yellow, so let me pop that out. I'm just gonna leave these here. I'll cover them when I'm, you know, not grabbing colors. I'd say it's pretty easy, actually, and it's working pretty good. There's not much more to it than that. Get it? You do have to move around a lot, so do it in a spot where you got room. I gotta work around the camera, it's harder. Alright, and I'm just gonna do what I wanna do. Make like a swirl in a puff. I'm gonna do each center of each flower a different color. Looks like you can do quite a bit with it, too. Here's my puff, my flower center. Ooh, 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 get back. Get in there. There you go. A save. And I'm going to do green in the center here. Like, you do have to kind of press. Yeah, it's almost like doing, uh, decorating a cake almost. So frosting on a cake. It kind of has that feeling to me as you do it. Now, you see how I follow their little lines there? See, the one on that they did on the box, they just kind of smooshed it all in. So let, me, let me do that here and add a second row. Kind of smoosh it. Less of a pattern and more of a smooshing to fill it in. Because I guess you're trying to just fill the whole thing in. So I don't have to necessarily be worried about placing it. It's already starting to get a little harder here. Hmm. All right. I think I'm just going to do a little decorating around the edge. Again, just put it in there and you're set.
It seems like the yellow comes out the easiest and works the best. There you go. And let's see, I'll do a pattern up here. Let me just do dots. Got a good enough shot there. This next one here, I'm going to get you right in on it so you can see the tip. How's that? So I'll just do dots right here, watch. See how easy it comes out? And then I'll add some dots here. Now remember, it says you could layer it. So if I want to add a color to the top of that, I'm going to grab my bright orangey color. And I'll do that here. Okay. I'm going to top off the center of this flower and this flower. There you go. Nice and poofy. Of course, i got to finish my last flower here. Okay. I could probably just shape it. Yeah, you could. So if you, if you feel like you want to shape it a little, you probably could do some other unique stuff without the tool. All right. So what do you think? That is my first attempt at it. It's one of those videos we might have to revisit, you know? But it is my first Da Vinci piece of art. I think overall, let me cap up all my stuff and get it all put away. It's a pretty neat little set. And I'm pretty sure I've seen where you can get other kinds of tips. So you don't have to use the same rounded tips. So you get different, almost like cake decorating, you know? It really has that kind of feel to it and consistency very much like cake decorating so if you like that you're gonna definitely like doing this I'm just gonna put all my stuff away and see how it all you know stores and closes up and what I'm gonna do is check back tomorrow and see how it's hardened better yet I might just check back here and there throughout the day Okay, so I'll take this off, and you'll see it's not gonna it's not gonna come off. See, it's on there. All right, my instructions. And it's pretty neat. My table is clean. There's no mess. And then this goes into here. I can take it and go. I can go with my dough of my Da Vinci set. All right. I will be back uh, tomorrow, but you know, you'll see it right away in the video. All right, here is a quick check in after about five hours. And as you can see now, it's not as creamy. It's almost starting to have a foamy appeal to it. Foamy appeal, whatever that means. Foamy feel. And now, it feels like it's starting to harden, especially where it's super thin, like it's thinner like this. And a lump will probably take longer, but the other stuff looks like it's starting to transform. So I will check back again, and we'll just uh, see its progress. All right, so it's been about 10 hours, and it's drying slowly here. I mean, this here is pretty good, and especially, like I said before, where the spots are the thinnest. So... When I get to about 24 hours, I will check back in one more time. But it's nice to see the progress over time and what happens. So we'll check back again. Okay, here I am. It has been a full 24 hours. Now here's that piece that I had earlier. And it's pretty much dried up and ready to go. So I wanted to show you now. It has not really hardened. It doesn't get super hard, but it is set now. Now I wanted to just try to scrape some off just so I can see and you can see that it can come off so if you wanna use it for something here look see so it's a decoration but you could also probably clean these up and reuse them if you want so overall I'm gonna say it's a 
pretty fun little set, the Do Vinci. And then, uh, of course, we got those bonus colors, which you can add on, and then other templates to play with. And you know what? You can be creative, as creative as you want. I kind of had to follow this here, as you remember in the video. So I think overall, pretty fun little kit. And if you want to see other cool stuff from Plato and Hasbro, then look in the description below for a playlist. As always, just search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.